So this is part three of our uh, renewal of the reception of, of Holy Communion, both in the form of bread and in the form of wine. So uh, we've talked a little bit about receiving our Lord in the form of wine, receiving from the chalice. Uh, it's also a great opportunity for us to renew receiving our Lord um, in, in the form of bread. And so as we're used to receiving communion uh, up until this time and all the way through um, these years uh, following COVID, uh, but maybe it's been since second grade since you really thought about this and, and gone deeply into it. So hopefully this can be of help, even though it might seem a little uh, childish <laughs> to think about these things. I think it helps us, again, to renew our faith, to renew our humility, to, to renew our love through the simple gestures in the way that we receive communion. So first of all, uh, to receive, when we receive, if we receive on the hand, we receive um, on our weak hand. So I'm left I'm not left-handed, I'm right-handed, so I receive on my left hand, and I give the priest a place to put the host that's a flat hand. So if I uh, give him this, then the priest or the, or the extraordinary minister can't really get it to fit in there so well, so that, that's a little tough. Uh, the reason why is that weak hand and your strong hand goes underneath is, again, since it's a way of showing humility. We're receiving the Lord. We're not taking the Lord, but we're receiving him. So um, there's a sign of, of, of humility in that simple gesture. Um, sometimes just because we don't think about these things and uh, or we have a problem in our shoulder, we can have a little bit of a tilt. And that's also challenging for the, the extraordinary minister to put the Lord onto your hand without, you, without the, uh, him sliding off to the ground. And uh, keeping that in mind is the way to, to to love him. We don't want him to show to to hit the hit the floor, uh, which I believe happens um, sometimes by accident. But I believe also we can uh, give him that attention so that that's less and less, or maybe ne never ever the case again. That's a wonderful way to look at it to show our Lord the love that we give all the attention for that. Uh, some people I've had one person come up before, and he had no arm. He had no, um, I, don't know, I don't think it was his right arm was missing. So obviously there, the, right, the way that you receive the Lord is going to be different. You're probably going to need to get your thumb in so that you can uh, be ready to slide that forward on your fingers, slide him forward and, and receive him in that way. Or if you have a cane or if you have a baby, um, all of those different ways, that those things are good things to think through before you get to the line and uh, be able to do so again. Doing what we believe with faith, doing what we believe with humility, doing what we believe with great love. Um, I think those are, are some of the, the small little details uh, that are part of the way that we can um, we can do that. If, if I do receive on the hand and for some reason, perhaps we, we were short on host and there was the host are being broken. And, uh, and I do notice there's a small little particle on the hand again. Even in the smallest piece, or even the smallest drop of the, of the precious blood or smallest piece of the host is Jesus, all of Jesus, the body, blood, soul, and divinity, all of who he is. So to make sure that, that I go ahead and take that and, and to, to receive it, and I can always wipe my fingers off later, but uh, I don't want to dust off anything that um, uh, that's visible, uh, knowing that that's a, Jesus gave us himself in the Eucharist to be received and, uh, and not to be abused or or to end up being, being stepped on um, and Again, not to uh, fall into any sense of of um, of scruple and well, what about the microscopic particles? The ones you see, that's the ones that you're responsible for. You're not responsible for what you do not see. Um, so our Lord has all these little details and ways in which we can we can love Him and with you. He wants to come and to um, to love us. So if it does uh, um, help you, hopefully it did. Uh, we have a couple more videos coming your way to help think about um, how in these small, simple gestures we can continue to grow in our love, our faith, and our humility in the way that we receive communion.